Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome all of you back for another video. Uh, got two days growth so I figured it was time to knock out a shave, especially considering that tonight we're having my son's back to school night. Um, anyhow, uh, I said I wasn't going to do another video until after my friend Christian went home. Anyways, uh, he's still here, but I figured I'd make this video anyways because he is letting me borrow a razor that you don't see him talk much about on Facebook page, on in the Facebook groups and stuff like that. And it is this. It is the, I believe it's pronounced Saluna. And it is an open comb, as you can see, the open comb there. It's got blade in it right now. And the handle's really cool. It's got the slight knurling here, a gap, knurling, gap, knurling, gap, knurling. So it's got one, two, three, wait, one, two. Yeah, it's got a couple of gaps and then the knurling. This razor is made in Czechoslovakia. And it was made in either the 60s or 70s, I can't remember exactly which, but if you look, it's got some pretty, it's got a decent little bit of blade a gap, and as you can see, the blade exposure is pretty decent. Um, this is a very smooth shaving, but it is aggressive when it comes on, on the scale. It's definitely above a McCor, I'd say it's up around maybe a seven, possibly eight. Um, it lets you know the blade's there. We'll put it that way. Anyways, so that's the razor. The blade in it is a Gillette Silver Blue, and it is its third third shave. Anyways, and the soap is, as you can see, it's this nice little wooden, wooden tub with a nice little lid. Some of you might recognize it. It's a lime-scented soap. Pretty weak on the lime scent, but it is the art of shaving lime. And pretty hard soap. You can't even dent it when you squeeze. And like I said, it's very low on the scent, very weak scent. Um, my friend paid 50 bucks for this soap. My friend Christian paid 50 bucks for this soap. That was for the soap in this bowl, and I think it's like he said, like 30 or 35 bucks for a refill puck. Um, there's just absolutely no way I would pay that much for this soap. Um, he was rather disappointed when he got it, and which is why he gave it to me. Um, but it's an okay soap, not the greatest, but it's okay. Um, the brush is my 24 millimeter tuxedo nut in the or the AP Shave Co. 24 millimeter tuxedo nut in his ruby ripple handle. It's kind of like the Razor Rock barber handle, except for it's only got one ridge here instead of two. And that's what we'll be using. So let's go ahead, wet the face and, or wet the brush, and start loading. I hope all of you are doing well. Um, and I know many of you are experiencing your child's first week back to school. Some of you the second week. We're in the second week right now. Um, it's a hard soap, but the lather, it doesn't, it, it's not a hard soap to lather. Go ahead. A little water. I don't believe I've used this one on camera before. The lime scent comes out a tiny bit as you lather. But, like I said, a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. 
Pull up Mark. Nope, okay. Um, as you can see, it does lather up rather well. That's just what's filled over. So, we'll just add this here. Um, I mean, you can tell the sense there. But, it's just, I don't know. For 30 bucks, one moment, for 30 bucks I would expect a little stronger scent, um, like I said Christian, he was a bit disappointed in the soap when he got it. Paid a hundred bucks for two soaps and nada as far as the scent strength. I mean, not even close to what he wanted. So he kept the lavender and I mean, it makes a good lather, don't get me wrong. No. Now, from what I understand, their creams are stronger as far as the scent goes. Thick cream. Let's add just a touch of water to it. going to be getting ordered in the next couple of days, which I'm looking very forward to showing you all, <coughs> looking forward to showing you all, and uh, Next video will be on two of the items. The other item is being going to be custom made. So some of you are probably sitting there thinking, yeah I know kind of what he's getting. Not exactly, but I know what he's getting. Um, and you're probably right. Alright. Um, but it's something that I'm looking very, very, very forward to getting. Alright. Um, my friend, he actually paid... What to go? Um, I mean, this thing, it just... Goes through the whiskers really well. Um, decent audio feedback. Um, thing is we're wondering if possibly the head is different I mean the top cap is just one that was thrown on because the top cap got lost um, 
my friend, he got it, Christian got it on Etsy for seven bucks. No, six bucks. And then the razor, our shipping was seven. And it was shipped to him from Bulgaria. Looked on there. It was in their first page. Uh, I forget the name of the store or the Etsy shop, but it was a metal Gillette display cabinet for your countertop glass top and hang on but that was 29 and change 30 bucks thought about getting it but it was like Oh, I don't know. Kind of big. It was 13 or something like that. 17 inches. And the cabinet was metal and it was kind of dirty and needed to be cleaned up. And the problem was is uh, the Gillette logo was in just beautiful condition, my girlfriend said. But um, the inside of it one of the little dividers or whatever it is was broken off so I'm sure that I could have probably could probably go to a metal shop or machine shop Place that piece, but it's just a little too big for what I need it or for the room I have. So, but if it's still there, maybe somebody who sees this video could go ahead and check it out and like I say I cannot for the life of me remember the name of the the shop so but that first pass with this razor went very very nice um, knocked down the whiskers real well going across the grain second pass um, The residual slickness isn't as good as I would expect for me. But I don't know. It's alright, I guess. Um, Now I got my lip.
friend. Nice pass. Now we're going to go against the grain after I slap on some more leather. Ended up getting water on my nose. One moment, folks. Had an itch there. So, we're just going to paint on the soap. My friend, he's a uh, went ahead and while he's here he wants to try out some razors. He's tried out my 1912 Everay because he's never used any gym style Everay, any gym style SEs. In fact he's not tried any SEs yet and he really enjoyed that one. And we got one of the local yokels outside yelling for his homeboy. So. Around here, hopefully, he's yelling at them because they haven't seen each other for a while, or, and not because they're just. because he has a problem with them. Um, And don't get me wrong, we've got some decent people in this area, but we got some people that you just would not want to invite to lunch. Let's just say. Especially if you had anything nice in your house. Um, anyways. Um, but, I'm not judging, I'm just stating simple facts. Anyways, can go against the grain. Which is for me at an angle, of course. You know, on the sides. Areas on my neck that's usually a problem spot for a lot of my razors. This one just took it right off. I saw one, same razor, from the same shop actually there in Bulgaria. Um, it was in the case, in the original case, but it was in the 30 something dollar range. Um, Yeah, I mean, residual slickness is eh, so so. I mean, I'm glad the soap was a gift. I appreciate it. biggest things I appreciate about it was feel bad that my friend 
was this point about the so um, no. But um, I didn't end up <laughs> dropping the 50 bucks on the soap, and so it saved me some money. And go. One nice thing is, is I will have a really cool. Yeah, I guess the residual slickness is passable, or else I wouldn't be able to do this without going ow, ow, ow. So that's that's good. Um, don't want to overshave with that razor being slightly more aggressive than. A lot of my razors. Anyways, gonna go ahead, rinse off, come back, slap on some alum, cut away again, do the head, do my noggin, and then come back with the post for the post. See you in, see you in a minute. So, got my Omega alum stick. Go ahead and um, see what the Razor did. Mm. Friends in there, Christians in there watching American Dad. So. might hear that a little bit in the background not sure if it's picking up on the audio here but um anyhow yeah not bad the alum didn't fire me up like it does sometimes but I used a very very light touch with that one anyways so yeah um not bad shit not bad with the shade anyways so I'm gonna go ahead cut away here and rinse off, do my noggin, and I'll see y'all in the post. All right, that folks was really, really nice shave. Um, my face, baby butt smooth. Like I mentioned in the part where I shaved, in the shave, it got down here where I normally have a little bit of noticeable stubble. Well, noticeable when you go like that, run your fingers across. But, I mean, that razor took it off. Other razors I have, some of my vintage Gillette's, doesn't do that. Um, a couple of my moderns don't do that. Uh, some do, some don't. But this one, it definitely took that off. My head, nice and smooth all the way around. As you can see, got the back really good. And, um... The shaving cream, yeah, I kind of knocked it before in the past for the residual slickness. Uh, it might have been that I wasn't using enough water. I did use more water this time than normal, and it didn't thin the soap out. It gave me a nice, thick, creamy lather. Uh, the residual slickness was relatively decent. However, I'm not paying 30 bucks for... 
a scent for a scent profile and scent strength that is pretty much non-existent um, which that is pretty 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 poor when it comes to the scent uh, here's the razor without a blade in it um, we're kind of curious because the cap is like a, a, a chrome or nickel and the, the base plate is looks like it's got gold wash on it and um, who knows maybe whoever had it just cleaned it so much took the gold wash off of the cap but you know so we think maybe that possibly at one time a different cap was put on it but it works works quite well and doesn't affect the shave and if it does it doesn't affect it that much or it makes the shave that much better anyways so yeah great little razor um saluna made in czechoslovakia look on look on etsy.com um for some some shop out of bulgaria and that's where you find it um at least they got one 20 something bucks for one in the case so if you're interested look on etsy um so yeah the brush ap shave coat tuxedo not 24 millimeter in the ruby ripple handle did an absolutely wonderful job like it always does so let's move on to the post dickinson's witch hazel gonna be nice and smooth for my son's open house Not really any tingle. Not a tingle. A little bit on my noggin, but not on my face. Very little on my noggin. Oh, that worked out good. Put that back up here. And the aftershave. My girlfriend's getting a little frustrated. My mom's dentures broke and she's trying to get hold of an emergency dentist because our normal dentist, the dentist was like, no, nope, we'll just set up an appointment. You can't eat without teeth. <laughs> My mom, she can't at least. Uh, aqua Velva Musk. So my girlfriend, she's trying to find a dentist to get my mom into to get her dentures repaired. Uh, we're going to have to take my mom to the store and get her mashed potatoes and jello and pudding and broth and stuff like that and put her on pretty much a soft food liquid diet until she gets those dentures fixed. And my mom don't expect much out of life, but she at least expects to be able to have decent food and the food she wants um, so that's not gonna make her happy anyways had a great shave I hope you all have been having some good shaves hope you all have been having some nice milk calls like I said the next video I do will be with something new that are a couple of things new which I'm looking very very forward to doing and um, so anyways, yeah, I'll see you all later. Um, you have a great day um, in those parts of the country where it's still hot. Stay cool. Temperature, luckily, where I live is, is not going to get over 100 degrees for the rest of the month. Thank goodness. Um, hopefully the weathermen are right. So we'll see. Anyways, y'all stay cool. Stay happy. Um, keep shaving. And I will see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.